I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on data engineering. In this episode, we're going back to our Microsoft Access playlist, and we're going to look at how to open Microsoft Excel documents or workbooks uh, from Access using VBA. And this is a very handy technique which allows you to open your Excel books in the background and get some values or, or put in some values or whatever you want to do. And uh, it's a very, very handy technique. So without further ado, let's get to our opening Excel from Access. Interested in coaching or one-on-one -on -one help with your project? Make sure to check out my Patreon, the link is in the description. Okay, so to get started, this is the uh, Access file that we've been using for some of our other um, demonstrations. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the Create tab and I'm gonna create a module and I'll save that. Um, I'll give it a name, I'll call it Excel Open or something like that. And uh, so now we've got a, got a VBA module open and we can create a, a function or sub in here that, uh, that opens an Excel file and we're going to read some data from the file. Um, we're going to um, get the headers and, uh, and we're going to write some data into the file just to show you know this is how we can open up the workbook and uh, this is how we can manipulate some data uh, or just read some data and then we're going to close the workbook and go back to our you know whatever our program is doing so we're going to go to tools and then references and then we're going to find the uh, Microsoft Excel um, uh, the uh, reference for Microsoft Excel and actually it's under uh, yeah it's under Microsoft Excel and yours might have a different number. Uh, mine is 16 uh, for the for the version that I have, but yours might be lower or higher. And actually, it's pretty much the same code um, in most uh, in all of the different versions. So, so I've got my uh, Excel uh, variable and I've got a book variable um, that I'm going to create, and I'm going to create a worksheet variable, um, which is very handy when you have multiple sheets because you might actually look at data in different sheets and you might set up two or three different worksheet variables um, and and be getting data from like three different sheets at different times in your procedure so um, so it's very very handy to reference all of those guys and uh, and we'll do that now so we'll set our Excel uh, variable equal to uh, create object and with and excel.application and um, that's gonna basically open a new instance of Excel um, you, this is the sheet here that we're gonna open it's called project data I've got a uh, you know some columns in there and then I got a project data tab on the bottom um, very simple uh, worksheet with some some data in it and we're gonna open that and we're gonna read the data and then we're also going to uh, we're gonna write to it um, so we'll set our, our workbook. So to do that, we'll, we'll set our, our workbook to, uh, to the uh, C and then dev folder where I've got that project uh, uh, worksheet in there. And we'll put that in and that'll set our, uh, our workbook variable. So we're opening an SLSX uh, file here. It also works for XLS files. Um, and so you can also open that type if you want to. So once we have our workbook variable set up, we can uh, grab uh, the worksheet that we want. Um, and so in this case, I'm going to uh, uh, grab it. I think it was called Project Tasks. And uh, so we'll go ahead and um, once that's set, then we've got our worksheet open. And, uh, and that's going to help out quite a bit. I'll also create a range variable because I'm going to demonstrate how to use a range, um, you know, from access, um, and that's going to be an Excel range, uh, which is very very handy because you can do range operations if you want to in your workbook uh, on your worksheet, and it's quite handy to be able to do to do ranges. Um, and then at the end of our procedure, I'm going to set the sheet equal to nothing, you know, the book equal to nothing and the Excel object equal to nothing 
just to release everything associated with those uh, variables and then we can sort of get started here. Um, I'll go up and I'll I'll create um, a column integer and we're going to go from column 1 to 3. Um, I guess I should create that variable first so I'll, I'll create uh, uh, the integer uh, for a column. Now if you have lots of values you know tons of more than you wouldn't have more than 32,000 columns but that's the upper range of the integer uh, but I'm just using a simple integer for this example um, and we'll go for our integer column equal 1 to 3 we'll set the range and I'm going to demonstrate in this one in this uh, um, this one I'm going to demonstrate how to reference by cells because that's how you can reference anywhere on your Excel sheet numerically and then the next example I'll show how to do it by calling like the you know the readable version like you know b3 and C, you know c4 and stuff like that so um, yeah so we'll set the range equal to sh uh, the sheet dot cells and then one and then the integer column and then we'll just do, we'll just output that that range value um, and what that'll do is now you can sort of see we're grabbing some data off of our excel sheet and we're just going to grab the uh, the the very first row and make sure to put a quit in there so that Excel does exit at the end of the uh, procedure and then we can run it here uh, it looks like I broke it already uh, looks like that project tasks does not exist and I think it's actually project data is the name of the the Excel tab so that's the kind of error that you'll get if you misname you know you don't name it correctly um, so there we go. It gives us our, our headers from 1 to 3, um, the task ID, the task type, and the task description, uh, which are um, sort of our header uh, values. So that's one thing that we could do. Uh, we can uh, rerun it, and it opens and closes the Excel sheet in the background. You'll notice that you don't see it coming up on screen, and um, that is uh, very handy. And so that was the headers. Um, so next what we'll do is we will um, read the actual data below the headers. I'll grab one of the columns just for, uh, just for demonstration and it'll show you how to loop through and you know get some data off of your sheet. Um, so I'm creating a do loop um, which is the, one of the basic loops in VBA and I'm going to add another integer um, variable and uh, that has that maxes out just over 32,000 you know account to 32,000 so if you have you know a whole ton of rows in there use the long instead um, it, it allows for you know, over 2 billion um, in an integer uh, variable so uh, in our do loop what we're going to do is so I'm going to increment our uh, row integer and uh, actually I think I'll start it at 1 because that'll get rid of the that'll miss the header column and it'll just give us data and what I'll do is I'll grab the the uh, um, the description which was the longer field on that worksheet and I'll set my range and this time I'll use the the alternate naming uh, which is to use the alphanumeric character uh, with the integer variable. So what I've done there is I've set the uh, range equal to one cell and then we're going to debug.print the uh, cell's value and uh, that, that'll sort of loop through very quickly and grab all of our values and output them into the immediate window. You could also do something like you know put it into a database table or something like that uh, which would be also, also be a great way of uh, sort of transferring data but for now we're just going to read it and then on the last line in the loop we're going to say if the length of the value is equal to zero then we're going to jump out of our our do loop um, so we'll say exit do so that the processing will jump out and continue on it'll quit excel and then um, and then basically uh, finish processing um, so right after our loop maybe i'll put in you know the last row because um, we're incrementing that row integer there so I'll put um, you know last row is equal to 
or pardon me, last row um, and, and concatenate that with the row integer um, just to show the, the row number of the very last row and that's going to um, allow us to use that. So it looks like that broke already. I think it's the syntax. Yeah, I have to, I, there's no colon when you're grabbing just one cell. Uh, so I'll go ahead and remove that. And then when I uh, um, click go here, uh, you can see the project task data has been output to the immediate window. And uh, as well, the last row, uh, which was 13, was output to the window as well. And that's uh, exactly what we want to see. So there's all of our data and our headers. And, uh, and so now you can see how to read data, whatever data you want from your Excel sheet. And um, you can also, um, you, can, you can sort of work with larger ranges as well, uh, which I'll leave for another video. But um, you can see in this case, we got those records you can see on the Excel sheet. And they have been output to the window, and that's what we want. So in just kind of the same way as what we did with uh, reading our data, we can also we can choose a range and we can set the value uh, for that as well. So you can make changes to your to your Excel sheet, um, and uh, you can do that by setting your range and then and then setting the value of the range to whatever it is that you want. So uh, we grabbed that last row, which was 13, and so what I'll do is I'll I'll um, set my uh, my range to um, C and then the intro concatenated together. And then, um, uh, oh, that's actually should be a range, not row. <laughs> there we go. So we're going to set our range to, to uh, equal the uh, C in whatever row you're currently on. And then we'll set the value. Um, to this is the last row um, just to show just to demonstrate how this works and so now we've set our value and we also want to put a um, we'll do a, a book dot save uh, which is gonna do a save before we quit otherwise it you know it it might ignore your changes or it might hang um, and so you want to make sure that you put a save in there and then we can uh, click click run and at the same time, I'll show you an alternate way of running it. You can copy the name of your procedure. Um, if it is a sub, you can just paste it in. And then you can hit Enter after that, and it will run it as well. Um, and as you can see, it's, it's grabbed the data that we grabbed, just like we did in the first example, plus the row. And if I go and open the file, um, you can see that it has added this is the last row uh, onto the last row. I could have fixed those other ones as well, but I think you can see um, how that works. If you wanted to go and update other uh, cells, you could easily do that. And I'll just draw you back your attention back to the two ways that we reference the cells. So you can set a range. You can look at the cells by number. So as if it was a big grid of numbers with no alphanumeric characters, because the numbers are very helpful. But you can also reference in the traditional way that you see Excel every day. And that is how you can open Excel from Access. Hope you enjoyed today's discussion on how to open Excel from Access. If you like what you saw, please give the video a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Click the bell when you see the bell and put any questions or comments you might have in the comment section below. Have a great day, have a safe day, and I'll catch you next time.